were just playing to the max tonight. <laughs> It's good to be here. It's good to be anywhere where I can see uh, most of your faces. And uh, you can see them. Uh, this time back in building, um, for us, well, obviously since uh, March uh, 2020, uh, this is our sixth show, I think. And uh, we played uh, our first show in July, the first in Nashville for London. And um, so we were glad to get back picking and singing the good songs for the good people. So uh, I'm glad y'all are That's here tonight. Um, everybody's healthy and ready to listen. And you can get up and take a Holy Ghost spin if you want to. <laughs> we're all for it. And, uh, yeah, we're all for it. You gotta have that. You just gotta have that sometimes. So anyway. What's y'all doing good, everybody? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, the Stanley Brothers was a really important group in my life. Uh, Bill Monroe was the fa father of bluegrass music. He started the music in 1945 um, with. Uh, and Mr. Flatt and Rose Crux in the band. Earl came in December of 1945, and that's really when the cogs kind of locked in together with the sound. And uh, you can tell by those early recordings um, on Columbia of Bill Monroe uh, from 1946 uh, and 47, back when Earl and uh, Chubby Wise was in the band, Mr. Flatt and Howard Watts on the bass. And man, they were just, there was nothing they, they were writing it as they went. That's what was so real about it, so authentic. But not drawn from anything other than just good songs and good playing and, and just a fun time and, and just releasing joy. And that's what we want to do tonight, is just release joy to y'all. Because uh, man, we've been, we, we've had been full, void of joy, uh, you know, for the last year and a half. So I hope y'all feel, Joyful tonight. Yeah. Just, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Joy. joy kills sorrow. That's right. I heard Mr. Monroe say that one time. It's the craziest thing. I just was thinking about them, and then this popped up. But uh, he was talking about a, a radio station that him and Charlie, his brother, uh, they were they, they were a brothers duet, and they uh, they played up in Indiana. Uh, around Hammond, Indiana, and they worked in the uh, at Sinclair Oil Refinery up there. And uh, but they did some uh, some radio shows, and one of the show, uh, one of the radio stations was W uh, W uh, W uh, W J K S. That's right, W J K S. And uh, and he said, uh, "Where joy kills sorrow." <laughs> that was the name of the station, but, but, but he, I don't know if that, if that was really their by words or if it was just something Mr. Monroe said, but he sure knew about joy because he was, he was in his element when he played music. And the Stanley Brothers, we were talking about them, uh, they were the first group to follow Bill Monroe's style of music. Mr. Monroe started in 45 and started making records in 46 with, with Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs. But uh, it was two brothers and uh, a guy that was like a brother, uh, a guy named Pee Wee Lambert, who used to be the own, owner of this man, Lynn. And uh, yeah, it, it gets a little nervous when we drive by uh, an antique store. <laughs> You don't have to worry, he's in a hard working family now that really wants him and needs him and thinks he's wonderful. So he'll be a hundred years old next year. That's all he wants. Yeah. Looking good to you. But the Stanleys would listen to uh, to uh, Bill Monroe on Saturday night and uh, they would write down the lyrics to the song as they were as Mr. Monroe would do it. Then on Sunday they would work those songs up. And then on Monday, they would do Farm and Fun Time over in Bristol, Tennessee, 
uh, on the radio show. And uh, Mr. Monroe didn't like that too well, but you know, really what that was, it was just showing that this music had become a, uh, a genre of music. When others start following something that you started, that, that's what a, a, genre, a genre of music is, you know? And uh, so that's, uh, to me, that was a, that, that wasn't stealing, that was, uh, you know, that was paying tribute to. And, uh, but we love the Stanleys and uh, they were such a big pillar in, in the foundations of bluegrass. They had their own style, even though know, they were they were taken from Mr. Monroe's music. Uh, but they wrote a lot of their own songs. They didn't write this one, but they sure made it their own. And we get a lot of requests for it, uh, especially uh, my mama in heaven loves to hear this one. So, uh, Mom, this is for you, honey, tonight. So here we go. Frank Stranger. <laughs> 